sometimes our decisions come back to bite us. I was watching the news and I read about, heard about this young lady getting killed from somebody shooting her in the back of the head in downtown Grand Rapids. I remember how angry it made me that a not grow, not growing Negro would do some stupid stuff like that just to be shooting. Little did I know, I'm more connected to that shooting than I care to even want to be. See, the dude who did the shooting, come to find out, is the same dude who tried to shoot me in 2022 in April. Now, I felt that it was about to be a shooting in my kinfolk house, so I went over there because I wanted to make sure if he did shoot, he was going to shoot at me, which it ended up to be he was shooting at me. I wanted him to shoot at me. I did that for a purpose because I walk with the Lord and I wanted him to shoot at me, then at them. Now, because I went to the back of the house, God sent me to the back of the house so I can see him walking up. Now, I seen his body language. He did not want to do it. And plus, he was young. So after he saw me, he got gangster. He started shooting. Some things happened. And you don't even have to know about it. But after he was finished, he took off and he started running. And when I told him, you just witnessed the power of the Lord, he didn't look around until I said, I told you to ask them Negroes on the west side about me. Then he looked back. Now, here's the situation. He saw God stop them. He saw it. He knew God would spare them because I could have caught you because, you know, you run like a squirrel, snail. I could have caught you, but I chose not to. I chose to let you go. Then I dropped the charges. See, if I had a charged you, if I had not have told the police to drop them charges, your ass probably not even be out to shoot that baby. But yet, you saw God did what you did. He gave you another opportunity and what you do with it. Trying to show out in front of your little homeboys. See, here's the situation. I don't care who your homeboys are. You should have told them about me. I hope you told them about me. Look at here. You people going around here acting like there ain't no God. There ain't no consequences to your bad actions. I promise you are on the wrong side of the law. I'm not talking about man's law. I'm talking about the lowest law. Now, see, God gave that boy another opportunity and what he do with it. He just threw it away. So if you out there, you want to be gangsters, you better pay attention to your lifestyles because the Lord going to keep giving you these opportunities to let you go, to let you go. Here's what I am going to tell you. No more. I'm not letting y'all go. No more. I'm sorry. I'm not going to attack you, but I'm not going to let not press charges against you no more. You're going to jail from this point forward because I cannot be allowing. See, here's this. Here's how I'm, I'm going through this. Now, I feel like it was my fault that baby did. I don't even want to look at their family. I don't even want to talk to their family because I could have locked you up. I could have got you off this street. Yet, you're going to get off the street anyway. Man, if I could turn back time. I'm dead. Please, baby girl, I'm so sorry. Lord, take her into your kingdom. I'm out.